nobody prepares as much as you do, and I think there's a moment where you have to also use the instinct, and that's the moment. Yeah, I like, I like, yeah, exactly, because there's so much preparation that goes to every moment. Of but life. dissect the moment, right? Exactly, but then there's something really lovely about just having a moment that's pure creation, and I love that with the actors, obviously. And on a film like this with so much virtual production, uh, in this particular film, we did uh, a year and a half of capture with the actors in advance. Um, and that was all of you know, Sigourney's work and Sam and Zoe and, and all that before we got to live action. The live action was actually the tail of the dog. You know, the main, the main part of it was the, was the performance capture. And so we do that all up front. So, you know, people ask me, and I think it's a perfectly valid question, how do you balance the humanistic, emotional side of it with all the, the layers and layers of technology? Um, and it, it occurred to me only recently that it, it's just lucky the way we do it is that I really just get to work with the actors for like a year and a half. And I'm, we completely uncouple the photographic process and we push it later, like all the lighting and the camera moves and the lens selection and all that stuff. Because we're not doing photography, we're doing capture. So it's a really pure, it's almost like you're just in rehearsal for a year and a half. And then you're, and then you're done. <laughs> and you've rehearsed. The rehearsal is the take, you know, which is which is kind of amazing. I remember um, the first time I heard you talking about Avatar was the early '90s. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, '95. Yeah, 95. yeah, '95. And uh, to get to the first one was such an incredible push of technology, story, solving a lot of uh, the things that you needed as a sort of ground floor to get in, and then this one. <laughs> Where you every most everything you built, you either improved or had to rebuild. What we did was the second we finished the first Avatar, we knew it was going to be a, a big hit by that point. So I'm saying, like over the Christmas holidays um, in uh, 2010, um, we just asked the studios, 20th Century Fox, to keep everybody on salary for another two months. And, and I, they all just wanted to go on vacation. But I said, guys, I want you to write up everything that we did and how we can do it better next time and what the tools are that we need. Now, I hadn't really made a decision whether to, to do a sequel or not. I wound up deciding to make three and then it became four. <laughs> you know, kind of metastasized on us. But um, I wondered while it was fresh in their minds, like how do we do this better? You know, before everybody scatters to the winds and goes off salary, how do we do this better? And they wrote up, I don't know, hundreds of pages of like white papers, department by department, on the tools we needed. And then when we regathered a, a couple of years later after I was done, you know, doing expeditions and that sort of thing, and doing, you know, indigenous rights stuff and traveling around the world, when we got serious, which was in 2013, we handed all that to Weta Digital and to our own in house developers. So these are the tools we got to create. We got to future-proof ourselves for not just one more movie, but but three. At the time, we thought it was three. It's, uh, it's amazing.